Yes. Why right as we go live? <laughs> Why not? My face! Oh, okay, hi guys, how's it going? Uh, we're here and stuff. Hello here and stuff. Somewhat. Reverend, my darling, please. <laughs> please <laughs> save us. That's a big Reverse. dog. Your dog just turned on the light. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> didn't ask for this. <laughs> anyway, why are you guys. torturing our audience? It is. Wow. It is time. Psychological torture. No. Welcome to roll the re for respawn. <laughs> what the? F I can I can turn it to where they don't see him. That. No. Welcome. I can, and I can make that it's a time thing. for us to already leave. Oh, yeah, you you can leave. You're allowed. We understand. No, 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 no! Please. If <laughs> they no. leave, then we have to figure something out while we're live, and I can't handle that either. And and Tony will be like, "What? You, what happened?" <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll be like, can you guys get your shit together for like two fucking seconds? What's um, the reason here today? Because I think that's supposed um, to be me. Um. Oh no, we're I don't due. Think it's me, uh, I yeah, if only the purse, the focal point today would. Focus the oh, no. camera. Hello, Hi everyone. Guys. I'm an amorphous blob that um, is running this session, um, and maybe someday my camera will finally acknowledge my existence, uh, like it did literally right before we started. All this of is this. our GM, so, hello. Blur GM. Mm -hmm. hello, I'm the Dungeon Blur. Um, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Mal Bright um, and we are here for the Wednesday Night Revival uh, where we are playing my campaign of Uh Oh Isekai which is set in the wonderful universe that mm, husband Brett has made um, my husband clarify um, our husband <laughs> and no. not, <laughs> not. Um, group, husband. group husband I did not agree to this <laughs> I didn't either, so I guess we can disagree about it together. So anyway, sister wives here. Um, <laughs> our our um, GM is so twisted that we've had to censor all of her. Apparently. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no. There, we go. ah, there hello. it goes. Welcome. I'm here. Um, but yes, we're playing Uh Oh Isekai. Um, we, uh, to recap, we have entered the, um, the mountain that the big bad is starting their ritual. So we are in the country of Demosselin, um, in the mountain that I have yet to name. I realize that right now I haven't named the mountain, but it's fine. It's the big one. And it's, it's the also the lair. The lair's mountain. Um, and um, they have fought through an initial gauntlet of creatures that are defending their home that has been overrun with bad guys, minions, and all sorts of just evil energy. And uh, they really, were they fighting the Kruthic. We would have taken care of it. Exactly. See? Uh, but they played Exterminators last uh, last episode where they fought the Kruthic and uh, attempted to fight some drakes. And then realized that that was a bad idea and ran, which was a very smart choice. And I thank them very much for it. Um, uh, but now they are in a safe zone and they are taking a short rest to gather their wits, get some health back and uh, get ready for fighting Sash Milan, uh, who is uh, in just a few rooms over. Um, but you guys are currently in a big cave. Um, it is actually pretty well kept. There's like a couple of, you know, skeletons, you know, strewn about, but like nothing that you have to be worried about. It basically kind of looks like a dug in archaeology site, almost like very kind of dusty, um, but still kept enough where they're like they've thrown some pillows and like other cushions about so that way they can have a reprieve because too many minions have also had to go through the gauntlet of the uh, bugs that are out there, the Tyranids, uh, so to speak. And um, But you guys are safe um, and are kind of just catching your breath and you, have, you know that you have some time um, before this goes off, but you know that you want to take advantage of this time, regain some spell slots and health, etc. So, what are y'all doing? I would like to pose a question to the DM Absolutely. that is most likely going to get 
everyone absolutely died with me. Can I absorb one of the fucking skeletons so I have bones? I'll never say no to bone <laughs> bones. <laughs> How much um, of your slime is exposed right now? None of it, but I can take off some of my armor. <laughs> you said I shed for bones. <laughs> I can listen. How much I you will remove yourself to bone. <laughs> Can I, can I have, can I, what's even worse about this is I literally just want to, like, absorb a human, like, humanoid skeleton. Just so, like, whenever people see my actual, like, plasmoid self, they see a human skeleton inside of it in, like, the anatomical correct pl uh, placing. What's your Pokemon? Like, you, you know what? You know what? The Pokemon that I like? The one that has a skeleton? <laughs> Oh, I was thinking of the X-Men Blob Herman. Oh, yes. We love Herman. <laughs> oh, that's true. Um, are you talking about... Uh, 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 oh, my gosh. Solosis? Yeah. <laughs> that's Solosis. not a skeleton. They're just, a, they're just, they're a just little... literally a mitochondria. Everyone say it with me. The mitochondria, mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. You can't there we go. No I rev band. No <laughs> There's stuff going on behind me, so I had to throw up the background. Fine, fair. Um, it so. just happened to be me. I'm flattered. <laughs> that also being said, while if they are, I'm 100% trying to pick one out to start chewing on. Um, I will say, you can absolutely put the bones in, but I want you to roll me a medicine check. Absolutely. To see if you can put all of the bones in their correct spots. Um... Ooh, I love this. I got a plus three to that. Um, please be low. Please be low. Uh, why did it roll twice? You know what you did. I don't know. Disadvantage. Why. One sec. I, I don't have disadvantage on this one, though. I want right. disadvantage on this one. Uh, um... I'm gonna just re-roll it. Give me a sec. Okay. Boop. You are all good. <laughs> I did so much worse! It's a five! Yeah! Alright, so you are able to, to, to get these bones uh, in your bad, but um, the, the, the ribs are kind of like jumbled around, where like some of the longer ones are like too high up and the shorter ones are in the middle like you've made almost an hourglass of like the rib cage mm -hmm. um there's a femur in the spine um oh. the the skull the skull like your 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 crewmates were able to kind of tell you be like no no that one that one goes up here you were you you also knew you were like i know where it comes i've seen humans before it's um like someone like tries to create a character model but their head like the head is there's no neck so it's just in the shoulder blades <laughs> yeah exactly so you got some kind of floating floating uh floating lumbar uh 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 all up in there but you're you're able to get the general gist of of a human, human body shape. in you <laughs> yeah I'm you're like it's like, close enough i got like i there was, so here's the thing there was like t a pile of bones rather than like a skeleton and yep. so i just kind of uh grabbed what i thought looked right mm -hmm. yep, yep. Uh, exactly. dungeon, dungeon mistress um yes in this lounge room is there like a cooking station or like is there like barrels of water or is it just like pillows and like corpses <laughs> i will say that there are barrels of water you would not yeah. trust okay. it unless you know how to purify water um, but you, with the knowledge that you have from your deity, you would know how to purify it. It won't be through magical means, though. Um, I have a spell for this, though. I also yes. have the spell for that. I have create food and water. Well, don't offend the poor cook now. No. <laughs> um, but no. Uh, yeah, uh, but there are barrels of water and, like, uh, like there's, there's a poop bucket in the corner, you know? It, it's got to be there, um, but uh, there are definitely uh, there are there are means. There, you see that there's a campfire mm -hmm. that uh, like a, like a, like like stomped out, but like there's like a ring of stones and like ash and wood that you you know you can see that it's been a couple of days, but someone's lit fires in here before. Mm -hmm. Um. If, also, if you... um, Esperoc does find a uh, a good bone to gnaw on uh, during this time. 
it's not it's i'm hoping for like a small one and i'm just kind of like chewing on it like people do with the like hey yep and like sugarcane type yeah stick. i got you i got you you take like one of the ribs uh from nemu that like looks just a little too out of place and you're like here i'll help you with it <laughs> also i'm gonna be like you're still missing a tail <laughs> All right, I will be right back. I can still hear you, but I'll be right back. Uh, Rad, uh, how are you feeling? Oh, uh, honestly, I feel like we could have taken a few more of those things. It would have been really fun. Should have brought them with us. But we're running low on time. So, like, hmm. how'd you know that? Not the first time I've been here. He'll rub his chest. <laughs> Is it like the mountain? No. Or something here. This isn't my first time fighting against this circumstance. The marshmallow dragon. Yes, the marshmallow dragon. Is he a marshmallow? I are we? Uh, are we I, I forgot his name. To be honest, Brett did. Mike Zenclair definitely did not, though. <laughs> uh, I also, Rev, forgot the dragon's name, but I had already committed to the joke of calling it Marshmallow because part of it rhymed with it. Mm -hmm. It's Chanel. It begins with an S, I'm pretty sure. Right? Ch <laughs> um, Chanel starts with Ashmalon. C. Ashmalon. And it starts with an S. Ashmalon. Ashmalon. Sash. Ashmalon. <laughs> Marshmallow. <laughs> Mushroom thing. <laughs> Ashmalon. I, I, I've told you, that you, you were aware of this story. It, I told you to release it a dozen times. You, you assume that I pay attention and hold on to a lot more than I do. Remind us. You were able to get yourself out of that court case. Well, yes, but most of that was, uh, lying. You get out of jury duty by doing that. What's a jury it's, do? Uh, it's where they want you to... Uh, Is that where you, like, poop in a bucket? Like, that one over there? No, uh... I don't know. I've never actually done it. I've always just gotten out. There's a thing that you get out of doing. Does it make sense? Mm. Like, they, they tell you you have to come, otherwise they'll arrest you, and then when you get there, you tell them why you can't do it, and then you go home. I thought you were, like, 17. But you get the day off from work. I thought you were, like, 17 before you came here. Yeah. How do you think I got my voice this deep? <laughs> <laughs> I... I was a part of the last group that tried to stop this from happening. And... We technically succeeded. in But not well enough. And none of us survived. Uh, Sinclair's making a fire and trying to cook whatever bits they had left to try and make um, some food for you guys to have so you can take a uh, um, gain an extra um, 1d8 hit points. Can I from any damage you might have taken. cast my spell? Seeing that since they're yes. struggling I'm just gonna like quickly create food and water. Absolutely, you can do that. Um, and um, Sinclair, you would know that like, because uh, you guys have casted these kinds of spells before, um, but you would know that like, if you are, uh, if they do create food and water, you can season it and it will taste, uh, it, will, it will be blessed by whatever seasonings that you have. Mm -hmm. As long as you have some part of the process that you are, yeah, then yeah. you are creating it. It, as a part of a short rest, you can cook a special food for 10 creatures. At the end of a short rest, any creature who eats the food and spends a one more hit die to regain HP gains an extra 1d8. So, Awesome. Yeah. It's also flavor text because, like you said, we're basically getting a long rest with the short rest. Mm -hmm. I'm being nice. Don't, let, don't, be, don't be nice to your players. 
again. This is a Why not? As, as so, because I'm so considerate. I'm just being a gremlin in the side. I just have. Actually, are there any, any uh, rats and stuff in here? Oh God. There's a few, but there's not as many rats as there are for bugs. Bug. Bugs don't have ears. I cast Speak with Animals. You try and you fail, because I'm not prepared for Speak with Animals. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Right, yeah. uh, I mean, it's nature. What does that one but, do? Um, but you can... Oh, you actually, can that would be a useful animals. spell. <laughs> what? I'm not trying to be useful. I have commune with nature as well. There's not a whole lot of nature in the in this cave because it is you are well within a mountain that you has... instantly gain the knowledge of up to three facts of your choice about the following subjects as they relate to your surrounding area: terrain and bodies of water, prevalent plants, minerals, animals, or peoples, powerful celestial fey fiends, elementals, or undead. That would be important. Influence from other planes of existence and buildings. I'm not going to cast okay. that spell though because, like I said, that's too useful. <laughs> I mean, you totally can. I can give you the information. Um, but um, also, how dare you? Um, no, no, I wanted to be done and talk to a rat. All right. So you just wanted a rodent. Rat. I presume. Do you do you just like see a random rat, or do you try to catch that rat? I'm gonna like go to like quietly creep over to a corner where I see some. Okay. Um. You know what? Roll a stealth check real quick. <laughs> as as Rad's doing that, I look to the other two. What are you going to do after all this? Like, what's your plan? How am I good at that? 16. Okay. I mean, the uh, world has so many different ways of making food. I want to eat it all. Like, the meat version. There's plenty of good meats there. Not my specialty, really, with things working, but I probably could open up my own official restaurant doing this. I'm going to see if the rat notices you. Stop playing with your cat. Stop playing with that gelatinous cat form that keeps following you around. I am so You somehow very sneak up on this rat. Right <laughs> I want you to know I rolled with advantage. And with advantage, I rolled a crit one and a nine. Nice. What the fuck? <laughs> Illegal. <laughs> I'm gonna sneak um, up on the rat then, and then just be like, "Can you make any vegetable stews?" Yummy. What it's like? What? If I put you in a hat, could you make stew? Can you hear me when I do that? Not really. Nope. Oh. No, hold on. How do I do a high pitched squeaky voice with a mic that's too good to pick it up? Apparently, no, Gosh, it's dang Discord. It. It's Discord. Well, Discord can suck my dick. Um, yeah. Hmm. Um. No. Um. So, uh, but this rat will will go. No, I cannot. Why do you want stew? There's no meat here. Meat. No, like a vegetable stew. Like where I come from, there was this one from uh, the surrendery country. It's all like like the eggplant and zucchini country. and stuff. Tomatoes, bell peppers. I'm currently cutting up like tomatoes and bell peppers, and like I've got like sliced ham <laughs> that I didn't give, and like I'm like prepping a soup. <laughs> The house company made a movie about it. 45 pounds of food and 30 gallons of water. The mouse company that we have does not know what movies are. Oh, so a movie is like a play, but you can put it in your pocket. How do you put a play in a pocket? <laughs> it's not like a little shiny disc. Like a mirror? Yeah. I'm telling you, those are not gonna... VHS is the way to go. Those little discs are just break too easily. You speak rat? I, I, so actually, here's a question, DM. When you speak rat, is he speaking speaky-speak-speak-speaker? 
or are they talking? <laughs> and then the rat is responding, and he's just talking like we would hear him regularly. God, I hope it's just Kronk. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to leave it up to the that caster. That was unintentional. I'm going to leave it up to the caster. Uh, are I... you going to do squeakity squeaker, or are you going to be speaking just uh, plain common? There's There's humor in both. But I do right. like the extra banter. So I'm going to say that the, the rat just, like, understands me. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm telling you, um, those those shiny discs will go out of fashion. They break too easily. Can he hear me? Yes, went out of fashion, like, oh, yeah, I can. He is cooking. Why not ask him to cook on your head? He's small. He is small, and I am quite large, and I can see why you might think that would work out. But the size difference is the same. Plus, also, it just wouldn't be the right vibe. Also, are you talking about that... If I right? made a little boat and flushed you down a toilet, could you go on an adventure? What? Perhaps. Depends on how much shit is in the water. That rival company also made that movie. Are you talking about flushed away? <laughs> um, I freaking love that movie though. <laughs> um, that's all the animated rat movies I know. Uh, <laughs> Stuart Little Three. Not a rat. Oh, you Not right. A rat. He's a mouse. Oh, that's true. He's a mouse. Mm, that's true. Uh, um, Charlotte Webb has a rat in it. <laughs> but it's not a movie about a rat. He he gets his own song. <laughs> There's songs in Charlotte's Web. The if you're going to go with that, one. then friggin' uh, the Rescuers. Sure. Or Great Mouse Detective. Uh, Great Mouse Detective is the one I was trying to remember. That's a good one. Um, Radigan. Uh, Cinderella. Cinderella. Uh, Rad, if you want me to add the rat to the soup. Now is the time. Oh, no, we're talking about boobies. What was he asking? He asked if you wanted soup. I will partake in soup. The rat would like some soup. <laughs> if there's enough, he can have I it. I apologize. What's your name, little rat? Bane. Bane would like some soup. I, I can get him some soup. Oh, I can do great Bane voice. Watch. <laughs> but but Nemu, uh, I I I still accept an invitation to you to come to our world. I don't know exactly how things would transpire, as Plasmoids, to my knowledge, no longer are regulars. Um, I don't want to have a solid body. I like, and I just kind of like grow one of my proboscis out of my arm. I like grabbing. No, no. Though to be I fair, understand. I don't think we're gonna live. <laughs> you don't. You saw us coming in, right? Those were just food. I mean, to be fair, not living's how we got here. So maybe not living's how you get there. You are undead. Oh no, um Wait, fuck, are we? I was Guys, are we undead? Time. I was I was summoned here this time. The first time I I digress. But I I need to go home and I need to see my granddaughter graduate, if it's all the same. I missed my own daughters. You send busy, I am leaving. I'll scutter away. Yeah, that's fair. His shit got sad leaving. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't suppose I can encourage you to also go back home as well, Rad. I'm gonna be honest. I, I already know how much time has passed for you. And math's not so easy for me right now, but I feel like that would not be a fun journey. Um, in case the off chance that I'm able to go home, my stuff doesn't go with me. I, 
but um, you can split amongst it yourselves if you'd like. I'm not really... What I'm saying is the axe is yours, um, Brad, if, if I don't make it, if I do. Yeah, I did wake up naked when I got here. When, um, is the way for you to get over home, like, just dying here? That's what happened last time, I woke up in a infirmary. So why don't we just I mean, kill you? I can just hit you if you want. Don't we need him to try and get, kill the dragon toad? But like, he's suffering. Yeah. He wants his family. I think that was a gift from the Karnasua. I don't think it had anything to do with me dying. No. I don't. I don't know. I've. I've never met the man. So you know when you're watching a movie and two people are talking and one of them's being a dick and they're backing out in the street and then a bus comes and hits them? Mm, sure. I still don't it's know what a bus is. <laughs> I was drinking. A well, bus was like a car, but really big. What's a car? A very, I still don't understand a car. A very large wagon. With... The car is like a motorcycle, but bigger. I stick him with my poking stick that I've been turning the fire with just in the shin. <laughs> These words, they don't make sense. That's what happened to me anyway. Uh, I don't know if that counts as being summoned by something. Except maybe I summon the bus. Can I summon buses? <laughs> Try it. If you can, summon it for the battle. It sounds useful. <laughs> Can you imagine? You go spend ten minutes in a corner just concentrating really hard on a bus. <laughs> Make sure that if you lose concentration, do it over the bucket. I'm not cleaning your trousers again. <laughs> oh, I laid one. Oh no. But what? What do you? I I just want to go home and retire. <laughs> I was able to keep some of the money with me, but everything else was gone. <laughs> and I didn't see any of my old comrades or anything from the last time, so I don't know what happened to them. How long does Speak With Animals last for? Uh, ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. Over the course of this conversation, you see a snake. <laughs> Slither up. Guys, the boss is a snake. Good job. I'm not familiar with that reference. There's snakes on the bus. Look, I summoned the boss, but it's a snake. Hi, little boss. Hello, minion. You minion. should have said sup, babe. You failed. <laughs> Stop interrupting me. No, I'm fine. Um, <laughs> minion. Aren't those the little yellow guys? They wear the dungarees. Also eggs. The dungarees! <laughs> <laughs> Lordroth, Rad's Australian. Bus Coon, what are you doing back there? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <Could> no. <laughs> I summon a kangaroo. <laughs> kangaroo Jack helps me with this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Turns out all the uh, the animal related spells are just because he's super like fanboyish with <laughs> Steve Irwin. Oh yeah. He's like, but I don't fuck with them stingrays. <laughs> oh, no, I exclusively fuck up those stingrays. I think you said fuck stingrays. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gonna be I don't I just to... oh god. The surgery dominance. No. Um anyway. <laughs> I saw that. Why did I say that face across your face? Um, no, uh, but no, you see you see the snake and the snake will go. Did you see which way the mouse went? Did the rat uh, went? Bane? Yeah, Bane went that way. Thank you. I'll slither away towards the dragon. Bye, little bust. 
Guys, the snake left. Not a bust, I'm a snake. As he's slithering away. <laughs> you do realize there. that snakes mean food and are mice, right? Yeah, that's right. He's gonna eat me. I mean, to be fair, that's what snakes do. I mean, it'd be rude of me to get involved. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't need to prepare a rat sized portion. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> Bane, there's a boss! <laughs> Bane's gonna get murked by a bus. <laughs> Oh no, that's how Remy can do. that's why Remy's so intelligent, is because he's from a D&D &D setting. <laughs> it's also a Jersey rat, and, you know, that's fine. I just eat the kind of rat in the real world. Maybe that's a rat or something. <laughs> they just show him, and you're like, why are there so many? <laughs> Snake rampage. Oh, it's no. the nearest ley line that just correlates with this world. There we go, right? Alright, Brett, you gotta incorporate this new lore into your... <laughs> <laughs> no! No! <laughs> the immediate yeah, denial! I love you, but no. Yeah. Uh... Ew, I see a loser in chat! Ugh! Not saying anything. Gosh. Gosh, because uh, we're not cool enough. Loser. Hello from that space. loser in chat is also missing out on all this really great rat lore. Yeah, I'm so glad that you like a little thingy in your in place of you, Tony. <laughs> um. Oh man. Uh, but yeah, um, I think at this point, uh, Nemu's just kind of. Uh, rearranging the bones inside of them repeatedly. <laughs> no, it's supposed to go up. <laughs> with, yeah, with, uh, uh, Darkness's help. There's a menace among us. No, he, he didn't pick it because he wasn't fucking here. No. <laughs> <laughs> I literally typed into Pixabay traveling, and I found that. I have a question uh, out of game for for Nemo. Um, do you know Revivify? Yes. Okay, that's where I probably got the scroll. That's perfect. Okay. Uh, uh, no, why do you ask? Um, well, I was gonna offer it to them in case <laughs> in case things go sour, but if they know Revivify. Um, I do has that spell. Yes. Wait, if, if you have a scroll of revivify, do you want us to revive you if you die? If the job's not done, preferably. Oh, wait a second, hold on. What if we revive you and you were sent home but you come back? Then we'll what if you tell time. us after you die whether or not to revive you? Does anyone have to speak with dead? Like, that would help. Do you know it? I don't know if I know it. Let me check. I can talk to the dead. You talk to a lot of things. Some of them talk back. True. Oh, sure. I have revived my too. There was the little bus. And pain. There was also a time where you were, you were talking to that bear that uh, turned out to actually be a child polymorphed. Yeah. He hit hard. <laughs> he was a bear, man. You deserved it. <laughs> you definitely deserved it. I mean, to be fair, I slapped him into a child again. No, it's... Okay. I, um, like that. I mean, he's not wrong. He's also, however, not correct. <laughs> that's just that's good. Sure. You should always slap children. I thought I feel this like... was slapping a bear and the child the children. thing was okay. Slap bears into children. You know what I mean. Nemu, you're going to be writing this all, like, the telling our tale, right? That's what you kind of said you wanted to do? We've got a story back from our homeland about Goldilocks and bears. Did Goldilocks slap him? I don't remember, but it probably. That sounds like something you would do. She, she... Okay. <laughs> Was Goldilocks one of those sumo guys that you were telling us about? Yeah. 
That sounds fun. Um, they are wild. <laughs> soup's ready. <laughs> <laughs> soup. Soup's up anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> Can we all get the effects of a long rest, Wyficus? Um, short rest, but yes. Short rest, okay. I have rescinded my former statement of a long rest. Oh, all right. <laughs> I thought it was a full rest because you said we got to change our spell slots and we get to, you know, if we can or if we need to. Oh, uh, yeah, I need to reset my spell slots. Yeah, yep. obviously. You got to get back that, uh, that speak with animals, obviously. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, I can cast that at will. Oh, well, all three of my spells I can cast at will. One of them is a fifth level spell that I can just cantrip. Which? Oh, sorry. If I may ask. Uh, that's the commune with nature. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Um. My character wasn't such a moron. He'd be really useful. Well, um. Okay. So. Uh, you guys get that short rest. Um, you guys can reroll HP if you would, or like uh, your HP short rest dice if you need to. Um, I am back to full health. Uh, did the rat make it to the tr to have the suppression? <laughs> you have no idea. Great. I think I have roll for me. I will miss you all. I hope you know that. Ah, uh, buddy. I mean, you know it's just practice. Uh, Alfira in the corner will go, Do you really want to die that badly? I'm so sorry, Tony, if the impression is bad. Um, I, no, if, if this goes well and I get to go home, I probably will never see any of you again. What if it's like Wizard of Oz, though? The power was just... within me. I get that reference. That power was within me all along. I have a... No, no, that we're just your uncles on the farm. What's an uncle? My uncle. My uncles have hair, Brad. Uh, I might have hair too. You don't. <laughs> Brad's <laughs> like. I've seen you naked. <laughs> no, I've, I've Shit, seen you're right. Completely naked, yeah. <laughs> Are those long skinny? Yeah, those long skinny scales. Yes, these. Is one of your uncles an iguana? No, but he does own a pet shop. Boom. Same. He actually, you know, in the novel of the, the original story, she actually it wasn't a dream. She actually walked back after she was teleported back to Kansas. What a miserable place to walk back to. Wait, why would, how do you teleport to somewhere you've walked to? No. So she says there's no place like home instead of waking up in the bed. Yeah. She actually, like, the end of the last chapter. This is actually true, true. Like, you can look up the last, like, in the book. Um, the, the book ends with her walking onto the farm, and her aunt's like, Where have you been? She's like, I was just at Oz. <laughs> that's how the book, you're like, That's it? <laughs> that's how the book ends? Damn. Imagine walking from Seattle all the way back to Kansas. <laughs> So like, that. is that from the movie where Mila Kunis was the witch? No. That's such a weird name. Like, the witch. what does Kunis do? I'll tell you what that Kunis do. Hey. Band again. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Ban counter, right? We're Tony. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tony, we miss you. We need to. <laughs> None of us have it, and I don't have the spoons to try. I'm wait. trying. I am trying so hard. <laughs> I told you guys like an hour ahead of time. I was like, RP time, let's go. Even the Brett behind Rev looks done with this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's the fact that you were looking like directly at your camera when that screenshot was taken, like but the <sighs> timing on it. Right? Because you guys are making it sound like I one-offed that. 
Let us oh no, I know there's multiple. Friend. Oh no. Oh, oh gosh. That yes. all of these are timed perfectly. Yeah. All the colors of the rainbow guy. Agree. Um, and personally. It looks like blood is in, the, in that picture. It looks like they're about to start singing Welcome to the Internet. Honestly, it looks like a like a decent it's thumbnail. It's a really yeah. good picture, actually. Tony no. in his tent. Boston right, you in red seat. Either concerned or constipated. That's just, that's, Chronically both. That's no. the that's name of my memoirs. <laughs> <laughs> Dedicated to all that toilet time. Uh, oh God. It's my birthday tomorrow, you know what happens. <laughs> We're all getting older. <laughs> Just another year further in debt. Yeah. Um, Who needs to get older when we can just... I just thought of a get great Isakai. catchphrase for Rad. I Maybe thought you not. said, just die. I'm like, babe, no, you can't just say that. <laughs> I almost did, and I was I like, wait, no, I gotta, I gotta choose me. something else. Let's go. Positive. I'm gonna write down this battle. Right. Um. <coughs> I have lost my oh. cat. I don't know where she went. It's a terrifying a thing, thing, considering you got her last week and she's a kitten. She's a demon kitten. Um, That's crazy. No, she's a cute kitten. She's such a sweetie, but Rad, also. Rad, would you want me to? Do you have the? Rad does know, like, remember the old address to his home and things like that, right? He's not as dumb as he seems, or is Rad 100% just, like, lick the mean... salt rock? <laughs> Rad has it, like, accidentally tattooed on the back of his hand, like, the address and phone number of his parents, because they had to write it on him so many times in well, sharp because he'd run away. Well, he was alive. He was, he was fine. He was smart. Hold on. Hold he on. remembers was... this shit. Yeah. As they were dying, they kind of said, I wish I was... Super strong. I Mystery was... kisses. She's disappearing for the evening. Bye. No. Um. Um. But uh, uh, Rad does know generally where he's from. If you'd like, I can try to give them a message. Wait, why are you going and Rad's not? He doesn't want to. So, do you know how to get to Australia? I love how that's just been made canon. No, but I do know how to write a letter. You got international stamps. There's like an A. Yes. No, I need. Give me a wrist. <laughs> <Give> me... <laughs> All right. And, and I'll I'm write extreme. it down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Phone number, like name. <laughs> All that stuff, and he'll put it into a little book that looks way too, like, used. He puts it into his uh, chest pocket. <laughs> what did you do, blood? What happened? He That's said, give me your wrist, and I said, end up the stream. Happy 25th? No, not quite. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Wait, stop licking. Please, <laughs> stop licking. It's the 28th. Today is not the 28th. Today's the... Er, oh, so it's Brett's <laughs> it birthday for, for, for darkness. <laughs> Happy birthday, Brett. Welcome to the future. Yeah. Wow. I'm still broke. To the Sambo. That's my fault. Why didn't you warn us about 9-11? <laughs> oh, no. I tried, <laughs> and they didn't believe me. <laughs> they said George Bush wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Sinclair, don't forget about 7 Eleven. A convenience store? The Towers. I. Uh, what year do you think it is? What? I, I will gently lower him down to my face and just. <laughs> Smack him as hard as I can. <laughs> Justified. Completely earned. You can allow it to hit or not. This is this, this is this is just bullshit we're doing. <laughs> um, I... but are there any? Sorry, keep going. You fit in well here. I'm glad you found peace. 
I hope not. You should travel really with boring. me. What'd you say, Esperok? You should travel with me. Let's go try the meat of the world. Oh yeah, let's meet the world! And we can do it without a... What, what's your world call it? A rock? Uh, no. A, um... Where we tell others about the meat of the world. Tell others about the meat of the world. Like, you're talking about social media? <laughs> Where we eat and then tell everyone what we ate. Oh, you? Yelp. No, the thing where they follow us on purpose. <laughs> a cult? Yeah, let's start a cult. Oh. Are you like, glob? Vlog? I'm Vlogging? here for the cult shit. Vlog? <laughs> Vlogging? On, like, social media and platforms where you can follow, like, Roll for Respawn on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. TikTok. <laughs> We can show them all the logs I drop. Ooh, logging. Yeah. Just take a shit downstream and see who's, <laughs> whose turd gets to the bottom first. Log races. That's my favorite <laughs> one as a kid. Uh. <laughs> I don't deserve to be That's the dungeon it, master. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody takes psychic damage. Kind of. I've um, been taking it since we this call started. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We'll just uh, we'll take a six psychic damage, all of us. Uh, um, in real life, not not our characters, just in real life. No, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I'm, I'm just taking a it. Psychic damage. I've got a thick skull. That's... Throws a rock at I, his fucking. You know skull. that's not how that works. You, Sorry, I know you know that's skull. Not like a bell. <laughs> um, but at this time, um, you guys have taken a long rest. You're kind of just like making sure you're like properly winded down. Are there any spells or any rituals that you would like to pre prepare for um, prior to going into the lair? I'd like to ritual cast these guns. Oh, so you're one of them American mages. <laughs> you're not muted but oh there you go um brett any rituals you can cast not really not not as this type of warlock anyway the no tentacles you can summon no you not that i want to summon now wait Ready? i can't speak to animals freely so i could have started talking to the rat i completely forgot Speaking as an American who owns a firearm, I do have to say, it's really weird how many of our gun ranges have lockers. Hmm. You know, questions. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> this country's so fucked, man. Oh. Hey guys, I was. You know how I made all that damage the last time we played? I was yeah. doing it wrong. You were supposed to do more damage? Yeah, a uh, life drinker. When you hit a creature with your pack weapon, the creature takes plus four extra necrotic damage. <laughs> so. Oh no, plus four to my 118 that you rolled, I believe? <laughs> I'm just saying, is that the highest damage we've done on the show? In our. Like. In our shows? Uh, and potentially. Considering you guys are level 17. So, I'll probably. Take, I'll take that. I'll, I'll take that rank. <laughs> uh, Tony, if you're still here, you can uh, prove that wrong. Update the wiki. Yeah, Tony, if you can do America favor, is full and, of angry um, artificers. Just read, like, go through all of our previous shows real quick. And let us know what the highest damage done so far was. Mm. Pay you I'm, in bits. An hour. Or Thank two you for the stretch now. and the sippies. I took a sink, a sink, a sipple. A sipple. I'm always and I stretched. Sippies, especially right now.
I'm actually gaining a little muscle from all the painting we've been doing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Ah, so much. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. My arms now hurt because I lifted them too much. <laughs> Listen, I am a weak, sad little boy who definitely uh, needs a man. I uh, constantly shock our roommate with my physical prowess and my ability to lift multiple adult human beings with ease. Your, your dwarf, Do you know what you uh, can deadlift? Um, or like bench? Somewhere in the three to four hundred pound range. Shit. Well, Ooh. no, no, because I can do three hundred easy. So. My partner said uses my name as a verb. Excuse me when doing <laughs> stuff because I um, I'm very stubborn and don't stop. And. And you could indeed get that piece. Um, actually, so this is a funny story about me being stupid strong sometimes. Um. Some of the people that I went to college with were uh, larger than myself, and I am already a plus size individual. Yeah. And they were being particularly hard on themselves one day. And I made the comment that you are not too big if I can still lift you with one arm. And the smaller of the two larger people was like, yeah, but you couldn't lift me. So I did with one arm. Uh, and then the other one started feeling really bad and left out. So then I lifted them with one arm. And I did regret that one. It caused me uh, more strain than I would have desired. But I did successfully lift a very large adult again with one arm. Oh, shit. We're expecting you to carry Sky down the aisle, by the way. Like, <laughs> I have physically thrown Sky in appropriate settings, not aggressively, but I have, like, playfully physically thrown Skyler. Also not sexual, like, just across the room onto the couch or whatever. You don't have to justify what you do, man. You, you know me. I ain't gonna judge you. Well, like, when I she's sick, I will just scoop her up and then carry her to the bedroom, all sweet and gentle-like, and then throw her at the bed because that's our kind of humor. Mm. I was basically, like, a feather to them. Uh, and then uh, Sky's other partner is so light. <laughs> He's um, like 130 pounds. What? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I haven't been that since I was in middle school. Uh, same. I never was that. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe freshman year. Um, I think like fifth grade, maybe. <laughs> I've been this tall since seventh. Um, He's got a healthy appetite, too. He puts food away. Rad, um... Yeah. Do you want me to delete your browser history like you were talking about? Yeah. Okay. If if I'm able to keep the money that we have here, I'll take care of it. That's I thought you important. said that we couldn't keep stuff if you go. Like, you were going to give me the axe. It's nothing... The last time I was able to actually... And he'll explain, probably for the fifth time, um, how when he left, he got none of his armor or anything like that, but he was able to keep basically the coin purse, except it turned into physical cash, until so he was able to pay for the medical bills from his injuries, and also enough to open up his own bakery. Um, so. It seems to be that maybe you can keep the money. But that's that's it. Deleting that sounds very important. Make sure you do it. Is that why I had debt when I got here? Potentially. It also might have been because you system. we had to post you out of that prison because you were indecently exposed. In my defense, it was huge. Your debt? Yeah, my debt. Sorry, y'all. I'm getting stuff um, ready. No, you're fine. I'm also stalling for blood. <laughs> um, um. 
So, what was the last Transformers movie when you were there? I believe that people were outraged because Megan Forks was had been replaced. I didn't watch it myself. But oh, my dude, there's very so many good. more now. There's a new one with a Hemsworth. Yeah, he's in it. Hemsworth. Hemsworth. He was... He played the hammer guy in the superhero movies. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He had a nice beard. Well, facial hair. No, his girlfriend was cute, too. Yes. She didn't deserve any of the crap she got for those uh, space fantasy films. I'll say it. <laughs> I'll say it with my chest. Uh, what just happened? What did you do? We were talking about uh, Marvel, and then we went to Star Wars. Yeah. Oh, okay. I still don't understand your world. Neither do I. So we're talking about movies, the little discs that you can put in your pocket. The no matter plays. how many times you tell me the, that. They're theatrical it's plays with intense... It's grind mirror. It, it's the, Actually, that, that's pretty... No, that's a solid way of thinking about it. You understand what a scrying mirror is? Yeah. I thought you were talking to me. I do magic, so it makes sense that I know. No, I'm not doubting your ability. <laughs> Dude, I saw them use a scrying mirror like three years ago. I'd explain to you how to properly open a healing potion. Yeah, it was hard. I couldn't tell if it was a twist off or a pull off. It's a cork. That doesn't answer the question. Sometimes you... the neck mm-hmm. just cracks, though. And then yeah, I've cracked a few necks. I looked and emu. Are you sure you can be able to handle these two when I'm gone? I can get away from you pretty quick. So you want nothing to do with this when we're done? No, but if they get irritating, I can just hide. Honestly, right, that's always worked for you. Uh, Rad's backpack and just... Rad wouldn't notice. I mean, there's already some slime in there. It's not slime. It's just an alchemy jar that broke, and he just he ordered a bunch of mayonnaise, and it's just a bunch of mayonnaise that he thinks is slime. <laughs> I mean, to be I fair, I was just thinking it was some rotting food of some sort. Mm-hmm. Oh, gross! I was thinking he possibly tried to make slime, like <laughs> just tried to make yeah, it how people hammer. are too. And the real no, answer what? is they were all correct. <laughs> He's gonna open that bag and that's gonna be a big evil bag for the next campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Just a mass. Brad created a new black. Oh god. Oh. I mean, we were talking about Flubber earlier, so. Fluffers. I don't think Flubber had anything to do with mayo, though. No, I don't think no. Fluffers usually use mayo. Oh, fl- Good night, everybody. <laughs> um. Before we leave the room, I I asked the soften, and I'm sorry. Um, is it wrong to fear death? No. It's not wrong. There's no point Wait. in it, but it's not wrong. No. There's so much to do alive, so no. Also, like, dying can be really scary. I don't know if you saw back there, but one of those dudes died because another dude flew into his head. You, yes. You you did that. That was you. Yes. you it was terrifying. You threw it. Can you That's imagine that happening to you? Yes. Have any of us died in this campaign up to this point or no? I'm sure all of you have Probably, at least yeah. once. Then I can't uh, ask that question, but <laughs> or 
I mean, if you guys would like to describe, like, kind of reminisce on how you died in the past, that would be hilarious. <laughs> Flashbacks. Do you remember when you had to revivify me because I, I choked on that fish? You mean the blowfish that was still alive? Yeah. That was pretty scary. I, I told you let me first prepare it, and you said, you're not my real dad, and then you, because you're listening to him, pointing to Rad. <laughs> don't get that. I, I don't either. There was that one time that I got shot by those ballistas. Which time? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, most of them were pretty scary, but there was the one time when it worked. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even count how many bolts it was. It had to have been like... I don't know, a thousand. I, I know you're bullshitting me. I'm so upset. Three. I'm so upset. Um... I, mean, I also will say no more orphanages. Children yeah. are the perfect fodder. That's how I died. Remember, it was an orphanage I ran into. Turns out it was full of blasting jelly. You can blame them. Yeah, but I mean that's why you don't run into them. You open the door, then you just walk inside. I mean, I know you've seen me go through walls before, but we've talked about it. There's a difference. You, you started eating the blast until it didn't go off as a sociopath. It didn't taste good. <laughs> so I just imagine him like drinking the... nitroglycerin. Like, mmm, <laughs> it's a little, it's just a little smooth. <laughs> it didn't taste good. I had to stop after the fifth jar. <laughs> so we died for the fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As you guys are reminiscing. Why don't we take a quick break? A five, ten minute break? I don't want to be it with me. We can get right back into it, because we've been going for like an hour or so. I don't know if we can, because blood hopped off, but... Um... We can all just close our cameras and mute our mics. <laughs> That'll ruin the, the setup, though. No, not, Unless... close, like, not turn off cameras, like block them. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back once we sing our songs. Goodbye. Yeah. So soon.
Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so we have um, kind of run out of content uh, for tonight and that's on me because I've been super busy outside of game um, and outside of work and I've had no real time to prep for um, anything really. Um, so that's on me, but um, what we're going to do is we're going to hop off for tonight, kind of chill, take some time for ourselves. Um, but we greatly appreciate you joining us for the short time that we were able to. We love you. We care about you. You smell, but that's fine. Um, and if you would like, you can also see a lot of our content on our YouTube channel, as well as the VODs that we have here on Twitch. So uh, if you are feeling up for it, absolutely continue watching from there. Otherwise, you can also follow us on all of our socials. They're down in our link tree below. Um, and we should be picking this up next week. We'll have Tony back and we should be able to get right back into the into the into the thick of it. So uh, they will be fighting Sash Milan and going over how they died uh you know different times before being revivified and it'll be great um but otherwise um that's pretty much it um we have an episode of thirsty gate thursday happening tomorrow night where you should be playing Baldur's gate and then uh not this saturday but next saturday we will have another episode of the one shot wonder area that you guys can tune into at 1 p.m eastern time um but otherwise, we look forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much for visiting the grave. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your night, okay? Bye! Bye, Bye. Bye.